Hey, I'm Grant Lawrence from CBC Music, here to introduce you to a young musician originally from Elora, Ontario, who calls herself Gray. That's G-R-A-E. From her first EP released when she was just 20, here is Gray with Woman's World. So if you see a girl inside it's all right looking for the meaning of life in your life following the way of the man and mankind maybe open your eyes and you see a woman's world that's gray now of toronto with her song of female empowerment from her first EP, New Girl, which came out a couple of years ago. This fall, Gray has returned with a new EP called Permanent Maniac, and I'll tell you about that title track in a bit, but first, check this out. Maybe we're just using one another. Maybe we're just being way too stubborn. That is Gray with a new song called Ex Lovers from her latest EP. And what an exceptional voice there from the 22 year old songwriter. Back when Gray was just 15 and growing up in Alora, her favorite band was these guys. I don't care if Monday's blue, Tuesday's gray and Wednesday too. Thursday, I don't care about you. Yes, that is The Cure with their hit from the early 1990s, Friday I'm In Love. And The Cure has remained Grey's favorite band, so much so that the title track from her new EP, Permanent Maniac, is dedicated to The Cure's lead singer, Robert Smith. I've got him close to me since I met him on the radio. Every damn day of the week, spinning, running, dizzy. Professing her celebrity crush, that is Gray from Toronto with her excellent song, Permanent Maniac, which is dedicated to Robert Smith from The Cure. Permanent Maniac by Gray is currently climbing the CBC Music Top 20, and it's the song that you need to add to your pandemic playlist for this week. I'm Grant Lawrence for CBC Music. Stay safe, and thanks to Heather Watson for this uh, original old Cure t-shirt. And I will leave you with this priceless moment from The Cure's Robert Smith. How are you? I'm Carrie. Oh, okay. It's so nice to meet you. Hi. Congratulations, The Cure Rock and Roll Hall of Fame inductees 2019. Are you as excited as I am? Um, by the sounds of it, no.